India stay alive then, chasing 160. They made short work of the target because Surya Kumar Yadav did what Surya Kumar Yadav does in T20 cricket. And another knock to continue an impressive start from Tilak Verma. A win that was set up by the spinners, it must be pointed out. Aksar Patel, impressive after finally getting a chance to bowl properly. And Kuldeep Yadav with three wickets did his job too. Welcome to ESPN Trick and 4 T20 Timeout. Wasim Jafar here with us to look back at the third T20i in Guyana. Wasim, this was... Uh, the performance we'd expected from India in this series. Uh, let's break it down. Let's start. Uh, it was set up by the bowlers. So uh, let's go there. Uh, how impressed were you by how the spinners performed? I think they bowled brilliantly. Uh, the 12 overs uh, from all the three spinners uh, were very, very good. Uh, you know, good to see Aksar uh, who has shown faith in him. Uh, and he did prove it right. Uh, he took that left-handers wicket. Uh, uh, and that is so, so important. Uh, you know, you're showing faith in him uh, because sometimes when you don't show the faith, uh, you know, the, the bowler is also uh, very scared to bowl. Uh, but in his mind, I'm sure he's working uh, his way, how to bowl to the left-handers, how to bowl to certain batsmen. So good to see Hardik uh, backing him. Uh, and again, Kuldeep being Kuldeep, uh, he, he was brilliant, brilliant throughout the one days, brilliant in the old. T20 is also uh, usually didn't pick up wickets, but I thought uh, you know he bowled uh, pretty decently as well. So I thought uh, Hardik used the bowlers really well. Uh, Mukesh uh, he introduced lot later, uh, and which is understandable uh, because he himself bowled really well uh, the first three overs. Uh, Mukesh only got to bowl the last two overs, which I thought he bowled really really well. Uh, but I, I thought uh, overall the bowlers uh, bowled really well, if at all. Uh, that 19 over still, uh, you know, is is a little bit of uh, that thing with uh, the Indian team. You know, the 19 overs went for the 17 overs. If I can be a little bit critical, uh, that's where they can be a little bit more uh, better. But other than that, I thought uh, it was a pretty good uh, bowling uh, performance. Yes, I want to talk about the bowling plans because it was a different plan that India went in with. Just the two overs of seam at the top and then you saw a barrage of spin. Nine on the trot and 12 of the next 14 overs were spin. Uh, what did you make of the plan? And while you can't always plan it out, it depends on what happens with the batting team. Was this an ideal template or the ideal utility of the wiggle room that six bowling options provide you with? Well, I mean, I was surprised uh, because last time uh, Hardik bowled with the new ball and he picked up wickets. So it wasn't that India didn't get wickets uh, up front, uh, but they completely changed the template today, uh, which was good to see though. Uh, you know, something West Indies uh, generally likes the pace coming onto the bat. Uh, Brendan King, whether it's Kyle Mayers. Uh, so so it was good to see spin being brought on. And, and that's probably uh, where Aksar can actually get his two, at least two overs out of the way, uh, which he did. And then even after the power play, uh, Hardik showed faith in him, uh, which was good to see. And then he complimented by picking the wicket also. So, uh, pretty good uh, strategy, I would say. You know, the West Indies batters generally don't pick uh, the wrist spinners really well. So, I thought uh, it was a pretty good plan and, and the spinners also delivered. Quick word on Kuldeep Yadav. 3 for 28, 3 key wickets. Uh, got Johnson Charles, got Brandon King, who was the top scorer. And then Nicholas Poor and the most dangerous of the lot. Uh, in particular, the wicket of Nicholas Puran and how he did it. Because Puran had hit Kuldeep for some runs. But uh, the way he set that up, uh, the fact that he still tossed it, he still invited him, uh, perhaps the greatest indicator of how Kuldeep bowls when he is in his full flow and has his mojo up. Well, I think his uh, the speed at which he bowls, I think that has improved. Uh, earlier, he was, you know, people were critical that he bowls really slow, which gives batters time. Uh, but now that has improved. Uh, his consistency in the length also has improved. Uh, he doesn't bowl that many bad balls now. Uh, and that wicket of uh, Nicholas Puran was was a game changing moment. You know, he's their main batsman and the guy who's in great form to get him out. Uh, relatively cheaply uh, with that, you know, flight uh, and asking him to come out. And, you know, with Nicholas Puran, once he plays a couple of balls, you know, something is going to happen. Where either he's going to step out and hit him, uh, which he did earlier uh, also. Uh, then he reverse swept uh, 
for a four. So you know, with Nicholas Puran, the big shot is around the corner. Uh, but he's such a good player and in such a good form. Uh, usually those shots go for boundaries and sixes. Uh, but you know, uh, Uldeep Yadav was really brave there to even toss it up, and that's his strength uh, because he can spin ball, spin the ball both ways. Uh, you know, he he kind of uh, you know tricked. Nicholas Pura, and that was that was a big moment in the game, getting Nicholas Pura out. Otherwise, you know, he can get away with the game. So, really happy. Uh, he got other couple of wickets also, but that wicket I thought uh, was the main one. So it was one Yadav who set it up for India in the first innings, and then the other Yadav took center stage in the second. Surya Kumar Yadav, eighty-three of forty-four, going at nearly twelve per over was seen in a game that went at eights. I know this question has been asked in the past about Surya Kumar Yadav T20 innings, but in this one in particular, how did he find it so much easier on this pitch than most of the other batters on show? Well, uh, to be honest, he looked very rusty, you know, right throughout uh, the ODIs uh, to the T20s. Uh, even in the first two T20s, he looked very rusty. Uh, but today was a different Surya Kumar Yadav, and that can happen with Surya Kumar Yadav. He came out with a lot more intent. Uh, and you know, especially against the left arm spinner, we've been talking about that. That's that's his downfall uh, quite a few times. You know, he's got out to left arm spinner, uh, whether it's sweeping or whether just defending. But today we saw a different Suri Kumar Yadav. Uh, you know, he even swept uh, Akil Hussain for a couple of boundaries, and then he got uh, a free hit, which he made most of it. Uh, and that can happen. Uh, you know, he's he's that kind of a player. Uh, who likes to take the bowlers on? He likes to take risks, uh, and when it comes off, uh, you know you get to see uh, an innings like that. You know, absolute delight. Uh, when he's in song, when he's playing like that, uh, you know he's a nightmare to the bowlers, nightmare to the captains. To you know where to set the field, where to bowl, uh, because he can have you know a short a ball. A shot for probably you know uh, similar ball in two three areas, uh, and he can you know that's what exactly what he did. Uh, if you move the fielder here, he can hit you. Uh, so absolute delight to see him back in the form because uh, he's such an important player. Uh, and like we have said before, a guy needs to to probably score 60 or 70 to you know for Indian team to probably put a score on board or even when India need to chase it, an 80 odd and then. Uh, 49 not out from Tilak Verma. Uh, you know, that was the game winning uh, partnership from both these guys. Yeah, and that partnership, it's early days, I know, but uh, they've done it a bit for Mumbai Indians. Now, a good sign for India that Surikumar Ryadav and Tilak Verma, the way they back together, even this game, you saw what, 87 and just about eight overs after the openers had fallen and you'd lost two wickets in the power play, uh, have to spend some time on Tilak Verma. Because it's been three games now, runs in all three of them, 39, 51, now 49, not out. Uh, already proved all the hype around his inclusion in the team and justified himself as almost cementing his spot already for next year's World Cup. Absolutely. I mean, uh, in the first three innings, I can't remember anybody being as consistent, as uh, you know, matured uh, or as assured uh, in his a stroke play uh, as Tilak Verma. Uh, you know, he's just 21, 22, uh, very young, early 20s. Uh, and for him to come out and bat in certain situations, uh, you know, absolute delight uh, to see. Again, he came out, uh, you know, with the rain coming in and there was there was probably talks that uh, it might go to Duckworth Lewis. So he came out and attacked uh, first two or three balls and hit a couple of boundaries. Goes on to show, you know, how uh, tuned in he is with the with the team's demand uh, and the game game sense that he's got. So that is very very refreshing to see. And then how he you know controlled the innings with Suri Kumar Yadav going you know hammer and tongs from the other end. He himself played his part so beautifully and then finished the game. And that is so nice to see a young guy finishing the game. Uh, and that is a good sign. And I'll probably go on and say that if, if at all India need a batter to look at in 50 over i i, I won't be surprised if it's uh, you know tilak verma uh, you know the kind of maturity that is shown uh, i i'll be happy to you know see him coming into the odi mix also uh, you know there is talks that shreya shayar and kl rahul is not ready yet 
why not throw in a youngster like tilak verma he's shown a lot of maturity uh, and the left hander option also uh, we've been looking for a top order left hander why not tilak verma that's interesting you bring that up if india are to consider it uh, would you would you say it's almost unfortunate that there is as little time left because you just have the asia cup and those three odis against australia so if tilak is to be blooded into the odi setup are you a little short on time we are definitely short on time no doubt about it you want a guy to at least you know play 15 20 odis uh, but unfortunately that's not the case uh, and we expected shreyash and kl to have been ready for the asia cup so unfortunately we are reading that they won't be ready they won't be available for asia cup uh, and we don't know whether they'll be still be available for the australia odi you know how, how serious are those injuries so if you want to try uh, a guy why not tilak verma uh, you know uh, if at all because anybody who's going to play he's going to be under cook uh, no matter who it is so i i i probably take a bet on tilak verma if at all i yeah an important to point out to our viewers that what you mentioned about the start of his knock tilak verma walked in at 34 for 2 in 4.2 with rain around and at that point uh, at the end of five overs the dls par score was 40 he hit two boundaries in the first three balls he faced and that meant india were ahead of it were the game to have been stopped at that point so kudos to that game sense as well that then uh, covers us for this game the series stays alive uh, look forward to being joined by wasim jafar for the fourth and fifth games which will be part of a packed weekend in uh, as the caravan moves to the usa thank you for your company